Roland Robles here with MLC CAD Systems. In today's technical video, we're going to cover three topics. The rules for importing JT files, doing a live import of a JT file into SOLIDWORKS, and then leveraging that SOLIDWORKS data in SOLIDWORKS Composer. In SOLIDWORKS 2018 SP3, you can now bring in versions 8, 9, and 10 of JT files. These JT files have to contain the BREP data for the actual geometry. The limitations of bringing in a JT file inside SOLIDWORKS 2018 is that if it JT file only contains tessellation data, the file will not import. It does not have everything it needs to do the import. And JT files that have desolated data will also not come in cleanly. With that said, let's go ahead and navigate to SOLIDWORKS and bring in a JT file, make a little modification to it, and then get it ready to import into SOLIDWORKS. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to File Open and change our file type to the JT extension. Once we do that, we're going to choose our file that we want to bring in and simply hit Open. Once it starts to import, typically it's going to ask you for an, uh, a template. So in this case, I'm bringing in an assembly. If it was a single piece part JT file, it would ask for a part template. Once I bring this in, at this point, it is like any other SOLIDWORKS assembly you've ever worked with. In this case, I want to change my display style, and I might want to even rechange the orientation of my assembly. So that way my isometric is going in uh, vertically in the positive z-axis. Now one thing that I want to point out is SOLIDWORKS is using a tool called 3D Interconnect. And what that's doing is if you look over here in the design tree, this actually keeps a live link to the original JT file. The benefit of that is if the JT file updates, you can then come in here and update the SOLIDWORKS assembly, capturing any new changes to that neutral file. In some cases, we don't want that to update. We, we want to dissolve that, and it's simple as right-clicking and choosing Dissolve Feature. What that does is it breaks the original link, the original association from this assembly to that JT file. Once we have this, we want to make sure that all of our changes are saved, and this is what will get us ready for bringing this into SOLIDWORKS Composer. Now, one thing to note is you do not have to break the link. That is just if you do not want to keep the association to the original date JT file. In this case, I'm going to give my assembly a name. I'm going to call it MLC Test, and then we'll go ahead and bring this assembly into Composer and start building our documentation for the manufacturing team. We'll close this down and we will navigate over into our Composer interface. To bring a SOLIDWORKS assembly into Composer, all we have to do is hit File Open and then go, go find the file that you want to import into Composer. In this case, this will be a SOLIDWORKS assembly. Typically, I like to use my SOLIDWORKS default import options and then we'll simply hit Open and this will start importing the SOLIDWORKS assembly into Composer. The neat thing about this is if you do not break the association, by default, 3D Interconnect keeps an association between the original JT file, the SOLIDWORKS assembly, and then between the SOLIDWORKS and assembly and composer, their association still exists. So the huge benefit of that is that if that original JT file changes, it will then update all your supporting documentation downstream. Once this file is brought in, we can then leverage all of our normal composer tools to do the things that and create the things that we want to create for our documentation group. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create just a couple standard views. We'll call this uh, base. And maybe I want to create a little exploded view showing how to take that pad off of the part. And we'll create a second view. Step one. Now that you've seen how to bring in a JT file, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach back out to me directly at rollandrollis.mlc-cad.com or you can also reach MLC's technical team at solidworksupport at mlc-cad.com. Thank you and we hope to catch you on the next one.